We have a tapas restaurant in the centre of Leeds on the course. A lot of our food is Spanish influenced, um, but we also mix it up a bit with a lot of local products as well and um, recipes. We're not too hung up on being 100% authentic, so we'll play around with things. Our meatballs, for instance, are kind of more Thai influenced than they are Spanish. Our black pudding is done in a scotch egg fashion, so there are, there are, there are twists to it. Um, but we've always kind of referred to our um, our style of tapas as being gourmet tapas. We, uh, we consider ourselves kind of crusaders in the north of England for sherry. Um, it's not got the best reputation and uh, we think it's an absolutely fantastic drink. So we try and get every guest who comes into Ambiente to at least have a try even if they think they don't like it. amazing response we've had to it. Um, I think so many people have this idea of warm sherry on grandma's sideboard that uh, they've been uh, put off in their heads but when they actually try the drink and match it up with the right tapas dish they're usually really surprised. We're a tapas restaurant but we're not a Spanish tapas restaurant so we use the ethos of tapas which involves sort of small dishes, friends all sharing um, and it's all about getting small dishes that work individually as well as a group on the table. Um, we use influencers so we can create a bit more vibrance to the dishes because like Spanish they're about bold strong flavours, simplistic cooking but good quality ingredients. So we use all our chorizo everything like that comes directly from Spain um, but what we try and we mix that with other influences as well so we've got Moroccan flavours, we've got all that going on. So there's a bit more variety on the table. Using other influences as well it gives us that sort of few more doors we can go through. Since we opened, we've, we've kind of seen our um, offer in the market as being a combination of a, um, a casual dining experience um, delivered by professional staff, but in quite an understated way. So we like to think our, our waiters and waitresses understand that um, you know, the experience is about you and your fellow guests rather than us getting in the way. The atmosphere of most, I love the atmosphere in the evening when we've got a lot of our staff and the customers and it makes such a difference when you come to work and you know that people will enjoy the food and they will enjoy the atmosphere. It kind of it's really uplifting feeling so I enjoy the busy shift. The owner of the company is vegetarian, um, so she's always got a keen eye on what we do. Because she's on top of it all the time, it opens up, with, sort of, we do all the vegan, we do dairy free, gluten free. It challenges the chefs trying to create dishes that are a bit more outside our comfort zone, because it's something I prefer a bit of meat, but it's nice trying to create the flavour without that there. So we do, we cover all the sort of intolerances and uh, we're quite clued up on it now because we've been doing it for quite a few years. We're really proud of the wines we have here. Um, all the wines are selected based on quality and value, uh, mostly from the American Peninsula, um, so Spain and Portugal, uh, with an emphasis on Spanish quality wines. Um, we do over 20 by the glass as well. It's really important for us to do this as it gives a guest a chance to try good quality wines by the glass, which we would not be able to in most restaurants. When you leave work, it's that nice feeling of, oh no, that was a good day. Just feel satisfied with it.